While we still don't know exactly what killed the shark, but at this lab behind me, this is where fish and wildlife experts are trying to find out what killed this great white. Being this close to a great white shark is a once in a lifetime experience that many beachgoers couldn't pass up. It is pretty sad to see such a majestic animal meet its demise. John Carlo Tomei is a marine biologist who captured these images of the great white on Sunday morning. The shark drew a crowd after it washed up near Aptos. The fearless creature almost nine feet long, not yet quite the size of a full grown great white. This is a uh, sub adult male and uh, we think he's about five years old, weighs about 500 pounds. How the shark got here, still a mystery. The shark was covered with gashes and cuts, but no serious external signs of trauma. After thoroughly checking the body for uh, sea lion wounds and other puncture wounds, those wounds are superficial, so they would, we do not think that any of those wounds would lead to the shark's death. Shark sightings are not uncommon in Monterey Bay. Last year, another great white, still alive, struggled in the shallow waters off Pleasure Point. In the previous years, there have been many bacterial infections affecting the brains and other organs of the sharks. So my guess is that they're going to try to examine the brain, do pathology the brain and several other vital organs. In recent years, the shark sightings have been driving up tourism as shark seekers hope to catch a glimpse of the real life jaws. And we won't know the official cause of death until tomorrow when marine biologists here conduct a necropsy.